Mi nombre es Georgina Hernández. Trabajé de limpieza, limpiando los cines, trabajé limpiando cocinas, baños, siete años en la limpieza. For a typical janitor at a movie theater, uh, they go in any time between 10 p.m., 11, or midnight. It generally depends on when's the last screening. And you can have anywhere from maybe one janitor to a theater to maybe two, three. It's a lot of work uh, for one or two people. Uh, they don't get any overtime, as they're required to do. And many of the workers work six to seven days a week. Empecé a trabajar con costo cost. Trabajando los siete días de la semana por 12, 11 horas diarias. Cuando fue nuestro primer sueldo, cobramos 300 dólares a la quincena y nos dijeron que no teníamos que repartir entre las dos. There are these companies uh, that contract services for janitorial, and the way that they describe themselves is they, they're just getting the contract and then subcontract it out to another person who then is paying the employees. But it's important to understand that it's uh, AMC contracts with someone else, who contracts with someone else, who then pays the employees. So there are several different layers of subcontracting. And I think because of these different layers, no one's making sure that the workers who are actually doing the work are getting paid. You know, talking to workers and getting workers to cooperate, you do find out that the movie theaters actually do have a lot of control. They go around and supervise um, and inspect, and the workers can't leave until the movie theater is satisfied with their work. And a lot of times they're the reason that there's overtime, because they didn't like the way a bathroom was clean, and so the worker has to go back and do it. Yo ya había terminado mi, mi, mi trabajo, y ya estaba lista para salirme cuando él todavía llamaba y decía que todavía no nos podíamos ir porque tenía que revisar el trabajo y teníamos que regresar a limpiar ciertos lugares que ya habíamos limpiado. Y nos ponía a recoger toda la basurita que había quedado debajo de los asientos. Ya, recuerdo que ya andaba casi cerrando los ojos y a veces me quedaba con las manos eh, inclinadas en mi cabeza y, y ahí sentía que cerraba los ojos por minutos y me despertaba yo corriendo. Oh, ya me tengo que ir, me tengo que ir. ¿Cuál es la razón que, que estoy haciendo? La necesidad de seguir trabajando. Era toda la necesidad. Ajá el que tengo que mantener a mis hijos, uh, tenía que pagar mi renta, uh, trabajar para poder vivir. Some workers have even told us like, I'm sick and I have to be responsible of finding someone to cover the work, you know, I can't ask for a day off. We had a worker that her son died and she uh, asked for time off um, because her, her son had passed away and the employer said, you have to go to work, uh, you can't take it off. And so she, you know, didn't, I think she, she ended up working um, that day, um, but then she couldn't afterwards and uh, basically she was terminated because of that. Al final del día no sabe uno si trabajó uno como esclavos o como eh, Es difícil de explicar porque yo recuerdo que terminaba yo de trabajar y, y me sentía caminando y como que sentía que iba sonámbula. We've talked to workers at Edwards, AMC, Regal, and they say very similar stories about how they're paid um, and their working conditions. And so I would say that this isn't a problem of one particular movie theater or a chain. It's, I think it's a problem with all the movie theaters. And I hope that in the future, uh, those benef benefiting the most from, the, from the, the workers' work will be held liable and accountable for, for what they're getting, uh, which is a clean theater.
toda la gente llega a ver movies y encuentra lo, los lugares bien limpios, pero no sabe qué manos fueron las que trabajaron eso. Me gustaría que, como yo, también separaran los demás y dijeran, todos tenemos derecho en esta vida. Si nosotros dejamos las cosas como están, van a seguir así. Y ellos van a seguir teniendo más y más dinero. Y nosotros nos vamos a quedar como fantasmas. Es por eso que, que estoy acá.